now the top stories of the day. I am Rob Gumba and this is News Bits Tonight. The notorious Bunal Squad, responsible for whipping and assaulting unsuspecting individuals in Davao City, is allegedly back, raising concerns of safety and security in the city. Juliet Rivita has the details. Facebook user Marco Guerrero, an internet shop owner, posted a CCTV footage of the attack by a group of masked men on December 29. One of the men who wore yellow long sleeves and a clown mask broke into his shop at around 2 a.m. and started hitting several individuals with an indeterminate object. After the group left, some customers who seemed to have been shocked by the incident went out of the internet shop. He narrated that he saw some patrol cars along Trading Boulevard after the incident happened while he was going home. He questioned the failure of the police officers to notice the attack on his shop. Guerrero tried to call Central 911 to ask for assistance. He was told that 911 will send a patrol car, but no one arrived. Censor Davao sought the reaction of the Davao City Police Office, but as of Sunday evening, December 29, Police Captain Rose Aguilar said they were still investigating the incident. She said no report regarding the attack reached their office. In October this year, the Bunal Squad was reported in Sasa after some victims posted the experience. Following the incident, more policemen were deployed to secure the area. Julia Tevita, News Beats Tonight. President Rodrigo Duterte on Saturday visited pediatric cancer patients at the Southern Philippines Medical Center's Cancer Institute in Davao City. As part of his yearly tradition, President Duterte gave gifts and interacted with the cancer patients in the SPMC's Cancer Institute Children's Unit. The President has been doing this activity regularly even when he was still the mayor of the city. In the photo, Senator Christopher Bongo was also in the activity accompanying the President. The President and the Senator were seen interacting with Dr. May Dolendo, head of the Children's Cancer Center of the Department of Pediatrics of SPMC, and Dr. Leopoldo Vega, Medical Chief of SPMC. Duterte celebrated Christmas Day with his family in Davao City. A silhouette of Jesus Christ found in the hedging of the canal near the coastline of Governor Generoso in Davao Oriental had been making rounds on social media this Christmas week. Ralph Yemet has the story. According to some online posts from residents living near the coastline of Governor Generoso in Davao Oriental, the supposed image of Jesus was rumored to be found by a woman at Puruklawan of Barangay Don Aurelio Chicote on December 20. Facebook user Yang Yang said, this is the first time it happened in the area. She said what she saw was unbelievable but true. She also asked her friends to pray and ask forgiveness for their sins to the Lord. Another Facebook user, Daisy May Mamaktalo, who posted photos of the image of Jesus, went viral online, told Sunstar Davao that the woman who discovered the image was actually the wife of her relative. Talo said the area has been visited by residents and from nearby barangays a day after it was discovered. Although she said she had not noticed anything miraculous after visiting the area, but she said she still believed that it is miraculous. She added that people who prayed over the image had different intentions, including healing from their current sickness and wishing for a long life. Meanwhile, Rev. Dave Felizardo of the St. Francis Xavier Parish in Governor Generoso said in a news report that they will investigate the supposed apparition. Felizardo also reminded those who visit the image to avoid being fanatic to the image. Ralph Yemit, News Bits Tonight. To check more stories, visit our website at www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao Subscribe in our YouTube channel and follow our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. That's all you need to know for tonight. Good evening.